Hi, and welcome to this fourth episode of our all-time favorite topic, Android development. Okay, let's get started and let's make coding great once again. Step 5. Allow the user to search for any location or place that they enter. Okay, so what I'd like to do next is to add a search feature. Let me show you what I mean. So for example, if I click on El Jalali Fort, and then if I click on the map and location activity, I'd like to add something like this. So basically this will allow the user to search for anything, for example, a city, for example, London in there. And once they click this button here, London will be shown on the map. Okay, so let's do that next. Right, let's click on the maps activity. So in the maps activity, let's go to the uh, activity layout, okay? And in here we have a single fragment. Let's add a relative layout right in here. Okay, right, and let's, let's close the relative layout here, and that's it. So now, we can actually correct this. So as you can see, there's a warning in there. And as always, we can use Alt and Enter to correct this. So Alt and Enter, delete the namespace. And then this one, Alt and Enter, delete the namespace. It's not needed anymore. Okay, how about this one? The color of which is gray. So maybe there is something we can do to correct it. So again, Alt and Enter and remove the unused namespace. We can do a similar thing to this one. So again, let's click Alt and Enter and remove this, okay? Right, so now we need to add three things in here, a text view, an edit text, and a floating action button. Let's do that. Okay, here we are. First and foremost, let's make sure that the fragment appears underneath the text view, okay? So, let's have a below layout here. So, layout below, it is search for, for example, okay? Underneath the uh, edit text, okay? And, right, okay, so as you can see, I don't have this icon in here. So, how do I add it, okay? So, let's go to the drawable folder, let's click right click, new, vector asset, and then let's go into here, and then search for location, for example, or city. So here we are, location city. And it's okay to that. Next, and finish. And then as you can see, this has now been added to my drawable folder. Indeed, it's right there, as you can see, in the drawable folder, okay? And much easier, I can just command click on this, or control click on this, on Windows. So let's command click on it. And as you can see, it's right here and there. Okay, let's go back to our XML file. Right, okay, what else is there that is interesting? Well, let me highlight this line here. So basically, I have a line, the baseline of search for this text view relative to the edit text. I've added this line here. Maybe you haven't seen this before in my previous episodes, okay? And finally, for the edit text, I have a hint in there, so which says enter something. So indeed, if I command click on this, it will take me to the strings file. And as you can see, it says there, enter something, okay? So if you don't have this, please correct it in your end, okay? And that's about it, that's it. That's our layout pretty much ready. So that's it. So now let's add an on-click action handler. So basically, once the user clicks on that floating action button in there, the app will read the thing that they entered in here, and then they would show that on the map. Okay, so let's do that. Let's, let's make sure that we have the mouse in here, and Alt and Enter, and let's create this on-click handler on the maps activity. Okay, here we are. So the first thing is that let's find the edit text. Let's call it ET city, for example. Find here by id, r.id.et search form. Okay, and the second thing, let's read the text on this edit text. So, let's have string, for example, uh, city or location equal to uh, ET city. This doesn't have to be a city, by the way. The user can search for anything. 
you to get text please notice that this method returns an editable not a string that's why in here we have to convert it into a string okay so now we are going to use a class called a geocoder class okay so let's have geocoder geocoder this will return to us a list of addresses which is good so equal to new geocoder this then let's have a list of addresses okay address list equal to geocoder dot get from location name as you can see it expects two arguments the location name and the max results now we have the location name which is city right and the maximum results is just have one result okay and as you can see there is an error in here so let's correct it alt and enter and let's surround this with try and catch okay right i know that i'm gonna use the address list outside this try close so i'm going to split it so alt and enter split in the declaration and assignment and let's have this outside the try close okay because in here i need now to declare the address class I need only just one address, okay? Equal to address list dot get. And let me get the first one, okay? The first address. All right, there seems to be an error there, so let's correct it. Alt and enter. And let's initialize the address list to null, for example, okay? And again, there is a warning in here, so let's correct that. Alt and enter. Let's surround it with an if statement. So if the address is not null, because in here it's been initialized to null, do this. Okay. The next thing, my friends, is that we can actually go back into our code, this one here, and we can just simply copy and paste all of this. Trust me, it's going to work. But we're even going to make it better. Okay. So now we have the location, right? But we're going to uh, modify this a little bit. So right now, we don't want to use this latitudes and longitudes. We can just use the address this one here but as you can see this is now local to this if statement so again let's take this outside the if statement and the way to do that is alt and enter split into declaration and assignment and again let's have this outside the if statement okay right and now let's have address in here and we can now call the get latitude and similarly let's for the second argument get the longitude okay and as you can see in here, there is an error there. So let's have alt and enter, and let's initialize the address into null again. And once again, there's a warning in here. So let's correct that, alt and enter. And again, let's surround this with an if statement to make sure that it's not null. Okay, right. As far as the marker is concerned, again, let's have, let's have the position in there. And for the title, let's just have the city. Okay, so let's have something like this. So the city plus in plus, okay, let's have the country in here. So the address dot get. And notice that we can use all of these getters, all available to us, brilliant. So let's get the country code, for example. Okay, and let's have plus again, double quotation. Let's have plus again, address dot get country name this time. Okay, and there seems to be an error there. Let's correct it. Let's read what it is. So, yeah, we need to have another curly bracket. Okay, so that has fixed that error. Good. And again, there is a warning in here. So let's correct that. And let's surround you with an F statement. And finally, now this will work exactly as before, as in, as in here. But we, let's add some animation into it. Okay, let's have some fun with animation. Let's have a camera position. Okay, so let's have camera position. Okay, camera position equal to new camera position dot builder. And then let's have some properties in here. Okay, the tilt, the bearing, the zoom, and the target properties. And finally, we'll invoke the build method in there. Okay, so here we are. We have the mode. Okay, as for the target, we are again using the location. Okay. And let's have a zoom of 15.5, a bearing of 300, a tilt of 50, and let's run this method in there. Okay. 
like finally we don't really need this anymore okay so let's comment to out and now let's use our animation so again mmap dot animate camera equal to camera update factory just like this one camera update factory dot new camera position exactly new camera position and let's pass the camera position and that's it we're done my friends let's test our code before we do that actually let's make sure that the uh, geocoder class is supported by your device so let's add a check statement in here so if the geocoder class is not present this, this is not if it's not present what do you do let's have a toast message and let's terminate the code okay that's it let's test it and let's see shall we let's do that okay here we are let's see what we have so let's for example select the jelani fort let's again go to the uh, map section and here we are let's enter london okay and let's click search and yahoo that seems to be working let's click on the marker and there we are it says london in great britain united kingdom okay let's search for sydney shall we let's do that and there you are in Australia so let's click on that and it says Sydney and Australia okay let's now for example search for I don't know London again let's do that and there we are London back again okay thanks done and finally let's get out there and let's make coding great once again thank you and happy coding <laughs>